So this is our 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 prototypical uh, domain object definition and domain models. Uh, I already said that the, our our big application has a, in total 25th, uh, 24 or up to 50 domain classes, and this is the based on this this prototypical models. So you see, there's a, the, the the road networks, and then there's access roads, and then there's a, the plots information and building information. The building has a floors, and floor has a unit information. For this monolithic uh, application, is is little bit segregated. I mean, uh, the plot is one unit of applications, uh, one 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 module of application, and buildings one module of applications, and then there's a floor one. Uh, one one module of application and then the unit is one module application this all the the modules has also linked to the the, the documentations and reporting and billing and payment modules with that one so that's why you say that there is a four only four block of functionalities but there is a interrelated uh, sub application you mean sub functionalities like billing payment and and invoicing and reporting this type of stuff and that's why we, we try to make only the plot part and with the plot informations and then plus the, the their supporting modules like payment documents billing and invoices that's why this is our relative domain models uh, to implement the microservices and then that's you, you get the idea what is that we are thinking what is the microservice how has to be done this one so this is the relative data and data set requirement for the for the for the microservices. You see the the detail about the plot and plot information, plot information, plot authorization information, billing information, ownership information, payment information, and also the the plot info utility information. Utility means the the whole in in the whole utilities means the electricity, gas, roads, and then and and internet and this type of the, because every plot need to the utility connected and then and the billing information means if the plot has to be paid their taxes or, or, or incomes and the authorization means the who will authorize the 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 your port information the, the administrative process and payment information you have to be paid the money for the governments to 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 your plot and and every year so what depending on the the laws of the of the governments and you see the the only plot uh, one plot has many many buildings so that means when we build a microservice for the plot and plot related information and that means we have to be linked somehow with the billing information if we blocked it like we make another microservice then we have this billing related information that means we need to detail about the billing information and it's it's, it's, it's related information as another microservice so for here we we just try to build a microservice for plot and plot related information so here's the your maps because because you need the maps to to locate or to saw uh, your your your, your plots informations and in the in, inside the plots where is building located you have to be find geographically and somehow and later maybe you needed 3d models for for this the the plot and the buildings as a simulator models so you see the maps and then there's a, the address address location and geolocation information and and this is the data coming from the from the open street map and some part of the uh, the google maps so in the in the in, the, in our web applications in the screencast number 27 you see the detail about that one please go there and and so what is is background this the, this application and the registration that's the one of the main, most important part for the for the for the segregation of microservice so every microservice has to be handle the logging process or logging steps or registration process that's what that means when you make a microservice for the plot and plot information you need all of them at this these models and when you're building the buildings information and you need to steal this this information because the the, the application is a microservice so every department can 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 control their own applications and after that, if you need a centralized application, then you can merge, merge it for all the plot related information, microservice application, microservice or application and building related, related a microservice application, even though it will here in flow related and, and, and unit related microservice application. Then, then they are segregated and they are modularized. And then after that, you can merge it all applications. So that's, 
that's all for the for the theoretical part now we have to start our to build to start our 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 projects so in the in the project developments you can use different ideas like at leaves or my at leaves intellij or st sts tools spring tool suites for for this case I, we have different implementation in the develop, developer then some developer use the intellij some my at, my at leaves and some developer using at leaves in the open source and uh, for here, uh, I use the STS tool, the Spring tool suites. And this is the good tools, and this is perfectly fit with the Spring, Spring technologies, or this is two flexible tools. You get the update for all of the latest, uh, latest dependencies, and it is properly managed. And it's really a lot of nowadays, a lot of developers are now going to the Spring technology and Spring frameworks. That's all.